Let's learn how we can create pivot charts. So before we get started in creating pivot charts, I'm going to just remove this pivot table because we don't need this anymore. And now this is a pivot table that we created from our previous video. And I'm going to create a chart based on this. Creating a chart based on a pivot table is very easy. So I can just select a cell in the pivot table and I can say I want to create a line chart to d line. And now we have created a chart which is linked to the pivot table and that's why it's a pivot chart. And it is also interactive like the pivot table. You see buttons here where I can filter specifically if I want to see only the first four months I can filter and the chart is now updated and you can see here that the table is also updated. So this is again proving that these two are linked together. So we changed the month filter here and that updated both of them. And now let's update the filter here and choose all the months. And now the table gets updated, the chart also gets updated. So these two are interlinked. Now, when you select a chart, you have four ribbons up here under pivot chart tools, and three of them should be very familiar to you, the design layout and format, because these are ribbons that we have studied associated with charts in general, regular charts. The fourth one is new, which is called the analyze. And here we can insert a slicer from here. If you want, we can refresh the charts. Uh, we can also delete charts if we want and then we can open up this field list pane and if I click this it appears it doesn't and then also the field buttons. So here we can control whether we want to see these buttons appear. For example, if I uncheck this the button to filter the month will disappear. I'm going to put it back on and now I can actually filter using that. So this is pretty much all the tools that you have. All these three are very similar to the regular charts. You can change this chart type just like you do with regular charts and you can create different chart types associated with the pivot table and they all work very similarly to the regular charts. Another thing I want you to understand here with related to pivot tables in general is, let's say I type in some text here that says chart because this is a chart that we have here. And then now if I want to make any modifications to this pivot table. So let's say for example, I want to see the average selling price for each of the book names. And so I would go here and then drag the book name in the column labels and instead of Excel creating individual columns for each book name and showing us the average selling price, it's actually giving us an error message which says, do you want to replace the contents of the destination cells in this specific sheet that we are in? What this means is that Excel is trying to add extra columns to actually show the book name, one column for each book and the average selling price. So it needs to add data here, but we have some text information here, for example, chart in cell D1. So when Excel is trying to expand this pivot table, it is now hitting against one of the cells where we have entered something else. So Excel is asking, do you want to replace the cell now with the pivot table? So if I say S, yes, Excel has now deleted that information chart and replaced it with this pivot table. So this is something which you need to understand. When you have a pivot table and you have other information in the same sheet, and if you are modifying the pivot table, then you will run into this issue where your pivot table may expand and overlap with any of the other information that you may have in your worksheet. And this can also have in this direction, if you have anything written here, for example, if we say this is where the chart is going to be and for suddenly we have more rows of data in the pivot table, then it will overwrite into this. And keep in mind that Excel will always give you a warning before it does it, and then you can change it accordingly. 